This video is a Halloween collaboration with my YouTube friends, so be sure to check out their videos as well as this one. So I'm making a little pumpkin model. We're going to make it as a little cake topper, so I've iced a board ready to put it on a board. And I'm just going to use flour and modelling paste. So I've got a black one here that's ready dyed. Now we're using the flour and modelling paste so it sets harder than fondant. So we're going to start by rolling it into a bit of a teardrop shape. I've put a little bit of Trex in with mine, which is just shortening, just to soften it a little bit and make it easier to use. So we've got a little teardrop shape. And we're going to put this on our board. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the board where we want it to go. Don't put too much because the uh, black dye will seep out of the icing if you put too much water on. Okay, so thin end to the top, chunky end to the bottom. So taking two small pieces of the black, we're going to roll them into a ball. You'll see it goes all over your hands, the black. And we're going to roll them so that you end up with a chunky bit at one end and a thinner bit for the leg. Just do the same with the other one. So once you've got those the same, put a little bit of water underneath each one. And we're going to push these onto the side of our body, like so. Next onto the arms. So again, taking two pieces of the same size. I'm going to start with a ball and we're going to roll it so that you end up with a long teardrop shape. I might have done this one a little bit long, so just check it against your body. So I'll take a little bit off the end of that one. And then just do another one to match. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on either side of the body where I want the arms to go. I'm going to stick them on so that they meet at the top, level with the top. And you can either have them straight down by the sides or you can move them further round to the middle, wherever you think looks nicest. I'm going to use a bit of green modelling paste now to give them a little collar. So I'm going to roll out my green and I'm going to cut a shape. It's going to be like a collar for him that's going to look like leaves. So I've got a few different sort of flower plant cutters. I think I'll use this one. Again, if you don't have one of these, a star shape cutter is fine. Or you can make individual leaves freehand. And all I'm going to do is just push a little line down each one. And just pinch them a little bit at each end. And I'll just lie that in place. Here, so a little bit of water on the top of his body. I'm just going to push this onto the top, like so. Taking my cocktail stick, I'm just going to poke a hole through his body, ready for when we attach the head. Now, because this one's just a top and I put it on a board, it's not going to be eaten. So I'm going to use polystyrene for the centre of his head. So it's a 60ml polystyrene ball I've got. You can use Rice Krispie Treats in the middle instead if you want to make them into a ball shape. I'm just going to poke my cocktail stick into my polystyrene ball. Just check what it looks like in my body. Ready for decorating. I've used the polystyrene because of the size of the head. If you do it in solid icing, it's going to be too heavy. If you want a smaller head, that's fine. You could probably get away with it in just icing. Right, so now we've got some orange modelling paste. I've just divided it into a few different pieces. And what I'm going to do is try and roll it so that it's thinner at either end with a chunky bit in the middle. So a little bit like that. But now it needs to be long enough to go from the centre of the top to the centre of the bottom. So I'm going to roll this out a little bit more. Oops. And we're going to do the same for every piece. So that's a little bit better now size wise. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of water on the back of it. And we're going to stick this onto our polystyrene ball. Okay, so it sticks out quite a lot at the moment. So I'm going to push that down a little bit with my, just gently with my hand. Can pull off extra if it ends up a bit too big, that's fine. Okay, and you're going to do the same now with your next one and put it next to it. So I'm going to do the same thing with all my pieces till I've completely covered the ball. That's now done. It's a little bit untidy at the top, but we're going to give him a leaf and stalk at the top so you won't see the top bit. Now, I'm going to lie him down to work on his face. Now, I've just got some corn flour here in a little bag. I do have a video on making those. I'm just going to rest it on there so that his head doesn't squash too much onto the board. So I'm just going to put a little indentation on either side where I want his eyes to go. And I'm going to use my black modelling paste again for the eyes. So taking two rounds 
of your black modeling paste just roll them slightly so they become a little bit oval in shape and we're going to put a little bit of water on the face where you've put your indentations your little marks for where you want your eyes to go and we're going to push these on taking a bit more of our orange we're just going to squash this down and cut it in half and we're going to use these for his little eyelids so just put a little bit of water on the back of each one and push them in place so he's not a scary pumpkin he's just going to be quite a cute little one and we're going to draw in now a little mouth for where I want it to go so I'm going to come quite high up on his face I'm going to put a line across okay and I'm going to leave a little bit here we'll give him a little tooth and we'll keep going up to the other side I'm just going to run my knife through that making sure you're going down to the polystyrene and then we're going to cut a little bit out a little bit lower down creating his smile and then we'll try and pull that little piece out that you've cut like so just neaten off any jaggedy edges and what we're going to do now is just fill that mouth with black so I'm taking a bit of the black and we're just going to roll it so it's almost the length of the mouth shape that we've made and what I'm going to do is put a small amount of water within that gap that we've made and I'm going to push the black in so it's not the exact same size and shape at the moment I'm just going to use modelling tool to just squash that in so it starts to fill the space within the mouth so we've done his face we just want a little bit more green again now for the top of his head so taking the green we're going to roll so it's a little bit thinner at one end than the other his bottom end I'm going to try and flatten out a little bit like that and then what we'll do is cut into this a little bit let's move this to one side and we're going to cut some triangles out of this if you've got a little cutter, you can put this over the top of your shape. So I've created a star shape. I'm going to stick this to the top of his head. Just curled it round a little bit at the top. A little bit of water there. I'll just stick that in the centre at the top. Pushing it down. Make sure it's in place. Okay, and then you can pop him into his body like so, so you can't really see very well from this angle so I will put up a picture of it finished for you to see and then they look great on little Halloween cakes if you want to have a look at any of my other Halloween videos please do click on the links in the description box below thank you for watching don't forget to check out the other videos in the collaboration check out the links on screen or in the description below if you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.